Hello everybody, Zolmnamus here, and welcome back to Windows to Revelation. Today, I'm going to be talking about a fam one of my f a familiar source, or OS, and that happens to be Windows 2000. Not 200, 2000. Windows 2000 is a familiar source to me. It was also known as Windows Me sometimes, or we just refer to it now as Windows 2000. And um, it came here. It was, for me, it was a familiar source and it didn't require anything huge. In fact, if I look at the system requirements, I can figure that out because I haven't looked and I have to take a look. So this is basically a fresh episode, no script while I'm running off Wikipedia right now because I have to figure out the complete, you know, stuff. System, uh, okay. So, for it, for system, <gasps> Windows 2000 system requirements, CPU, Pentium 1, 1, 133 MHz, or recommended Pentium 2, 300 MHz, memory, 32 meg megabytes, 128 for server, recommended 128 megabytes hard drive one one gigabyte or two gigabytes for server recommended five gigabytes graphics hardware two 200 to by 600 VGA or better monitor recommended ran basically seven seven hundred 1080p Okay, either way, you needed a keyboard and mouse. Okay, so this is a familiar source to me. I remember kind of using it, but I only used it for about a year or so, and then I then we upgraded it to an Act 2, well, uh, Windows XP, or followed Windows... Windows... Server 2003. Now, there were a lot of new features in Windows 2000 that I thought were... Back then, I thought that this was the original and new Windows. My stupidity. I should have known. There was Windows 98, Windows 95, and etc, etc. Now... For me, using Windows 2000 wasn't, it's just, using Windows 2000 when I was using it was normal at the time. Windows 2000 for me <clears throat> was something that everybody could use back then and I used it until... I had to upgrade to Windows XP or newer Windows Vista, which I get. I'm waiting for the time where I can criticize Vista. Okay. Right now, the source model is a shared source and extended support ended on um, July 13th, 2010. Now, there were many different additions and service packs and all that. For example, Windows 2000 Professional. Here's a screenshot of Windows 2000, Windows 2000 Professional, Windows 2000 Server, Advanced Server, di Data Center. Service packs. They had a J JVM or Java Virtual Machine. And Internet Explorer 
And... Uh... The security... Um, for Windows 2000... <clears throat> was a lot more, um, harsh. And, um, basically unlevel. So, no matter how much you would be going through and you would be surfing surfing the internet you would eventually run into a problem you would eventually find yourself in a kerfuffle and then you'd have a virus and that's what I learned when I started using Windows 2000 I was like it was one of those things you just got to be careful with what you do on Windows 2000 because the security on it was not good. And that's one of the downsides to it. Oh, well, anyways, I think that wraps this up for me. Guys, this is raw episode. No editing, no nothing. Six-minute video. Not that bad. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.